Recently, someone asked if I could design an antenna for their particular needs. They wanted a multi-directional antenna, but they needed it to be much smaller than my hoop or octagon antennas. Here's the design I came up with, and if you want to see how I made it, let's hop to it. Different situations can require different antenna setups for your TV. Some locations require large antennas to pick up distant stations. Sometimes you have plenty of stations, all within maybe 40 miles of your house, but they are located in different directions. In many cases, a multi-directional antenna can be your best solution. I have previously posted videos on how to build two really good multi-directional antennas, the hoop and the octagon. Many people have built these antennas and they tell me they are very happy with how they perform. But both of these antennas are fairly large, and in some situations they may not be the best specific design for you. For these situations, I have developed a much smaller antenna that still gets very good reception and performance. I call this design the Tritenna. The basic setup is three vertical hoop elements, each aimed at a different direction, allowing it to pick up signals from multiple transmitters. The entire antenna is less than 15 inches across, so it's easy to locate, mount, and use. The construction is simple and can be made by most people with a few basic tools. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to building. Start with some PVC board. You can use wood, but PVC will be weather resistant and it is easy to work with. I'm going to use a 6 inch piece of 1x4 and a 2 foot piece of 1x2. You will need some wire to make your elements and connect them together. You can choose solid copper, aluminum, or galvanized wire. I'm going with the 16 gauge galvanized as it's inexpensive, easy to get, and easy to work with. I will be using it to make twisted wire elements, which in my tests will outperform most of the single wire elements. If you haven't watched my episode comparing different antenna elements, I suggest you do so before starting this build so you can decide which wire is best for your antenna. To make the twisted element like I'm doing, you will use around 22 feet of wire. You'll also need some screws. Use zinc coated or stainless if you are going to be mounting this outdoors. Get 7 self-tapping number 8 by 1 inch screws. You also need a box of lath screws number 8 by 9 16 inch. For a mass mount, get a length of half inch PVC pipe and cement on an end cap. I'm using a piece that's 12 inches long. I'm going to start by cutting an equilateral triangle from the 3.5 inch board. To lay this out, measure up 3.5 inches and use a square to draw a line. Now find the exact center of this line, then draw a diagonal from each corner. Use a saw to cut this triangle out. Take the 2 inch board and cut three 7 inch lengths. These will be the antenna arms. Find the center of each of these boards and draw a guideline. Place the three boards into a triangle pattern like this and center the equilateral triangle in the middle, making sure everything's lined up. Take the triangle and start three of the one inch screws in it like shown here. Place it back on the arms and holding everything secure, screw it all together. Measure the distance between each arm and adjust them until they are all the exact same measurement. To hold everything in place, I'm using an air nailer and brads, but you can use another three of the one inch screws instead. If you did this correctly, the one half inch cap PVC pipe will just fit snugly in the mounting pocket. Next I'll cut the element wires. Cut three lengths of element at exactly 22 inches each. Cut another six lengths of wire at 21 inches each. To form the twisted element, take one 22 inch length of wire and put it with two lengths of the 21 inch wire. Line up the ends so that one half inch of the 22 inch wire protrudes out further. Lock the ends firmly in a vise. Now take a drill and tighten the chuck around the loose ends of the wires. Slowly start rotating the chuck, keeping firm back pressure applied on the wires. Continue twisting until the wire forms a nice even wrapped cable. Mm -hmm. 
Using a one gallon paint can, start forming each of the elements into a hoop. Use your hands to finish shaping them. Try to make as close to a circle as possible. Using the tips of a pair of needle nose pliers, bend the ends of each cable into a terminal hook. Take the triangle setup and flip it over so the mounting pocket is facing up. On each of the three boards arms, measure one half inch from each end and draw a guideline. Now measure a quarter inch from each edge and mark them on the guideline. Screw in the last screw in each of these six points. Cut four more lengths of wire. You will need two pieces cut to 15 inches and two pieces cut to 7 inches. The shorter ones will be used for wiring the antenna to the end terminals. Bend terminal hooks into the end of each of the wires. The next few steps are easy to do but difficult for me to explain so pay close attention to what I'm doing. I start by hooking the end of a 15 inch piece of wire off the side of the board. Tighten down the screw and then use your hand to bend the wire over the edge. Now I use the needle nose pliers and grab the wire about halfway down the side of the board. I bend it 90 degrees towards the middle of the triangle. I then bend the wire into the angle and up the side of the next arm. Using the needle nose pliers, I make matching bends in the end and secure it with the last screw. Use your hands and pliers to try to make the wire sit as straight and as tight to the board as possible. Repeat this process with the other 15 inch length of wire on the next set of terminals. Now I need to make the connection terminals to hook up my coax cable. I take a 7 inch piece of wire and connect it and bend it over the end terminals like you just did with the other wires but now sink it in the last screw through the end of the side of the board. Do this on the other end so you end up with two screw terminals like this. The wired up antenna now looks like this. Now I'll attach the elements. I take the arm terminal screws and loosen them just enough to slip the ends of the elements under them. The screws are on the underside of the antenna, so I hang the elements down so they will be upright when in use. I tighten the screws securely. I place the PVC pipe back into the mounting pocket and drill a small pilot hole through the center of the antenna and down through the cap. Using the drill and a Phillips head bit, I drive a screw into this and secure the antenna to the mast pole. I now make any final adjustments to the hoops. I want the circles to be as round and uniform as possible and perpendicular to the arms. To hook up my tritenna, I take my matching transformer and attach it to the connection terminals. All that's left for me to do now is screw on my TV's coax cable, run a channel scan, and enjoy watching some free over-the-air TV. Now's a great time to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to high five the like icon and jingle the bell, that would mean a lot to me. I have many more projects in the works and I'd like to share them with you. In the meantime, keep watching TV.